David Moyes was doomed from the start. And even before his first competitive game as United boss, the chances of him succeeding were virtually nil. This is the story of how a chaotic first six weeks in the job sealed David Moyes' fate at Manchester United. Chapter 1. The boss will see you now. David Moyes wasn't really asked to take the Man United job. Instead, he was told that it was his. Speaking to Stephen Bartlett on the Diary of a CEO podcast, Moyes recalled how Sir Alex rung him up and invited him over when he was not far from Manchester, getting a watch repaired. Initially concerned that he couldn't take up the meeting while wearing jeans, he went over to Ferguson's home. And fairly bluntly, he was told that he was the new manager of Manchester United. According to Moyes himself, there was, quote, no interview, no telling me, not saying would you like to be, only I'm retiring and you're the new manager of Manchester United. And I sort of said, yeah, okay, I wasn't going to turn that down. Or I didn't think I was going to say no, or even that I was in a position to do so. It was as simple as that. So David Moyes takes over from Sir Alex Ferguson. Chapter 2. First assignment, Wayne Rooney. Almost the first thing David Moyes had to do at United was take them on their pre-season tour to Thailand. But if he was hoping for a reasonably smooth start, he was caught out. Within hours of United landing in Bangkok, there was a major story. Rooney, who had just flown out with the team, almost immediately returned to Manchester. Now, while United claimed an injury, the conspiracy junkies jumped at the story. It was no secret that Rooney was unhappy following a public falling out with Alex Ferguson the previous season. And it was an open secret that he was desperate to leave for Chelsea. So Moyes' first real challenge was to manage Rooney. It wasn't his fault that he wanted to leave, but getting him on side was clearly going to be important. But there was a challenge he didn't rise to. Speaking to a reporter in Bangkok a couple of days prior, he was slightly loose with his language. He was quoted by several newspapers as saying, quote, My thought on Wayne is this, if for any reason we had an injury to Robin Van Persie, we're going to need him, and I want as many options as possible. The newspapers obviously took this and ran. At Everton, there wasn't quite the same level of scrutiny, and there had been worries that Moyes wouldn't have been able to handle top players. Rooney was confused and angry by the manager's assessment of him being behind Robin Van Persie. He believed he was at the peak of his career and did not intend to go backwards. Ed Woodward, the new chairman, didn't exactly help his manager. He played hardball with the media and said, quote, Would we be afraid to run Wayne's contract down? Of course not. I'm not sitting down with any player on extension and there is no trigger date in the diary. Chapter 3. Transfer Chaos while all this was ongoing, Edward Wood was struggling in his first season in the new role, having taken over from David Gill. Even though he was popular at the time and good with the press, he was struggling to get new signings over the line. Cesc Fabregas was the key target, and even though he was refusing to sign a contract with Barcelona, it looked increasingly like he was using United to get a better deal at the camp now. When asked about the lack of signings, David Moyes said, I can understand why the supporters might be feeling anxious, but the truth is, I only started the job on July the 1st, so I've only been in the gig for three weeks. This wasn't hugely encouraging. A club of United size shouldn't really have been waiting on the new manager to come in to start their planning. Fast forward to transfer deadline day. United danced this bizarre dance with Everton, where Moyes bid a combined £36 million for Leighton Baines and Marouane Fellaini. That was after Everton chairman Bill Kenwright branded an earlier joint valuation of £28 million for the two players as insulting. The result of pursuits for Fellaini, Baines, Fabregas, Thiago and Modric, as well as potentially Ronaldo and Bale, was the following. David Moyes added only Marouane Fellaini for £27.5 million. This was weird for a few reasons. One, Fellaini wasn't in the same class as the other players on the transfer list, and not exactly the profile United needed. But mostly, David Moyes must have known that Fellaini's release clause was £23.5 million, £4 million less than they bid, because he was the manager that put it in his contract. Moyes was not helped here by the club, but the fact was, starting late, without a particularly clear sense of which players would fit in, led with United not exactly improving their squad, but probably going backwards. Chapter 4. Not exactly a war cry. In one of David Moyes' early press conferences, he did two things that were viewed as strange. The first is that he complained about the fixtures. If this was an attempt at inspiring confidence, it was a strange one. Moyes explained that he was given the hardest fixtures United had had in 20 years. Grimly, he said, I find it hard to believe that that's the way the balls came out of the bag. That's for sure. To be clear, he was implying that the Premier League had given United hard fixtures. A league spokesman even said, David has put those concerns to us. We have absolutely assured him that the process is random and above board. He's accepted those assurances. And to add to the sense that United and Moyes lacked confidence together, his use of the word hope in an early press conference was picked up. 
When he was asked what style of play he hoped to implement, he said, I hope we play the same way with the same traditions. You have to get the balance right and hopefully I can. And when asked whether United would keep on scoring late goals under him, he said, hopefully that won't change, hopefully I'll have the same magic touch. And when asked what he had said to the players when he got them together for the first time, he explained that Alex Ferguson had given him the opportunity to take the job and he hoped that they respected that. Moyes had failed to deliver a sense of confidence in himself and his new side. David Moyes was relieved to navigate an opening day trip to Swansea, producing a 4-1 win. And if everyone was being honest, it was a better result than they expected. Not only was the result good, but Wayne Rooney made his first appearance for Moyes and things were looking up. But by the end of their next six games, United had only got another seven points. They got hammered by City, lost at Anfield, and West Brom won at Old Trafford for the first time in decades. 12th in the league, a successful title defence already appeared beyond them. In fairness to Moyes, he was far from the only manager to struggle after Alex Ferguson, and the club certainly didn't help. But the Wayne Rooney situation, an uninspiring transfer window, and a lack of confidence injected into the club cast the die well ahead of time.